Okay, good evening everybody. Um, if I could ask for you to use the raise hand function on the Zoom so we know where we're going with the questions. Um, I'm just waiting for some hands to be raised. We're going to start please with, uh, with Ben Ransom. Uh, good evening, Pat. Congratulations on the win tonight. Um, I want to ask you about the penalty. Riyad Mahrez has missed a couple, and that was a high-pressure moment. What gave you the faith in him to convert from the spot? He chose, he chose to take it. So we spoke there, so it doesn't matter. The guy has personality to take it, uh, and he make a new crowd penalty. Strong power in the corner. Really, really, real good one. Ilkay Gundogan said yesterday that the team had to learn from some of the difficult moments that you've had, particularly in this competition. From what you saw tonight, especially the way they came back from a goal down, is this the moment that your team has come of age in this competition? Yes, in this competition, during one game, there are many, many moments in this competition. So normally when you are winning the qualification and the average is positive, you are more cautious and the other team go forward and the moment when the turn the situation is completely the opposite so um, they started well we, we had a plan to press but didn't work we changed it after uh, yeah 10-15 minutes especially we play with the wingers more inside and usually we play more wider and that's why we had a lot of connections between the 4-5 midfield players with Phil with Riyad with Bernardo with Kevin with Gundo with Rodri all of them they have a good a good a good quality good Foot uh, um, to and after that we the game was was we turned so the first fifteen minutes they were better and after goal the last three minutes the first half we had incredible two or three chances to score a goal and in the second half we found the goals and we play good so in the second half we didn't concede one shoot we create enough chances to win and finally we are in semi finals for the second time in our club in the history so and now tonight we're going to celebrate it and thinking and Chelsea in three days. Thank you, Ben. Uh, next, we go to Mike Minet. Hi, Pep. Uh, congratulations. Um, first of all, the, the Champions League semi-finals, what does it mean to you? What does it mean for the club? I understand last night was a little bit difficult as well, so does that have any added impetus into tonight's result? For the club? For the club, it's so important. Uh, we cannot deny it. So... This competition is tough in terms of mental. The fact that uh, you are working 10 months, that you are judged for one game, for different goal, you are out, or for one hand is allowed, it, you are out. And you are judged the season as a failure, as a disaster club. The team has no personality for one single game. In that case, two single games. It's not fair. So we cannot judge what these guys have done in four or five years and you can go through for one or two competition. Saying that... Psychologically, for all of us, for the players, for myself, of course, for all my room staff, for our chairman, for CEO, past this this moment, the quarterfinals to get the semi final was necessary. Now, of course, we want more. Uh, we're going to prepare the game against uh, PSG, the last finalist for the the Champions League last season against Bayern Munich. So we know how tough they were. So they 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 they. Knockout uh, to Bayern Munich. I think the best team in the world right now. And uh, and yeah, we'll see what happens, how we arrive. But uh, for the club, especially for the players, a good, a good, a good moment for all of us. Thank you, Mike. Um, next, we'll go to Jack Gorn. Hi, Pat. Um, how big a moment is it? Is it for the for the players themselves? Um, and how much belief do you think it will it will give them to get over this hurdle? We cannot forget we are three times in the five years we are together, three times out of the quarterfinals of the Champions League, the first year against Monaco for goal difference. So the players suffer the same like uh, all our group of staff for all the people are working in the club. They are incredible huge competitors and they wanna they wanna make this next step and today they did it. So the best four teams in, in the Europe right now. Uh, always I say Pass to the group stage is a big, big success. Next season will be in the Champions League again because we already qualify for the Premier League. And yeah, in this stage, so final Carabao Cup, two semi finals, and the other in the Premier League, we need three victories to be champion. So that's why it's, it's so important to, to continue in this way. 
Uh, thank you, Jack. Um, Simon Baskowski. Hi, Pep. You spoke yesterday about the emotions that would be in the game. Can you just explain how your emotions were on the touchline through that match? Well, the last five, ten minutes, when it was 2-1 or five minutes and they should have scored three goals, uh, we started to believe it. So we were so close. The second goal in, 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 in Manchester from field was so important. It's not the same coming here for 1-1 or for 2-1. And uh, we knew it. We spoke about that. So we have to score min- one goal minimum or have to two goals. So in the half time we spoke about, guys, we have to score a goal. So even if they scored at the 2-0, one goal with an extra time. We have to score. And after I score 1-1 one, one, and we control the game and after that the, the, the set pieces he organised Nico and Phil with his quality in the finishing uh, yeah, help us to, to go to the semi-final. Thank you, Simon. Uh, John Murray from BBC. Uh, what, what would you say about uh, the way that Jude Bellingham played against your team over, over the two matches, really? Can you believe that he's only 17? I cannot believe it. <laughs> Maybe he's a liar. He's so good to have 70 years old. He's a, a fantastic player. I saw one image like uh, he didn't get the ball from from the central defenders and how he shout and how he demand that ball to him with 70 years old means a lot. So I spoke with his manager, Edin, and told me that, uh, we, like you, Pep, like you have seen these two games, is every every time in training session. So they have a huge talent. Of course, Borussia Dortmund, Jadon Sancho is an important player for them with a huge quality. Um and of course, a big blow for them. But uh, we can't through through our passes, through our control, we minimize the influence from Holland in the in his football, and uh, and the way we play was fun, was was fantastic. So, so with a huge personality, but it was not easy with the pressure that we had after one zero down. Play the way we played the last three minutes first half, and we have two or three incredible chances in the second half. The way the personality, the way the guys won the ball and play and play, was really really good. Thank you, John. Uh, David McDonnell. Hi, Pat. Um, you, you mentioned uh, Phil's goal in the first leg. And of course, he got the winner here. How, how impressed have you been with his maturity and his ability to kind of rise to the big occasion, which he's shown in, in recent weeks? Uh, absolutely. Uh, you have the feeling that he's a guy who's uh, never hide and, and <sighs> I don't know, he's a... Uh, always creates something uh, he's dynamic defensively offensively the quality in the smaller spaces he's learning right now don't play just one touch he's able to make more touches um, in his making decisions so yeah he scored two important goals the the second goals in second goal in Etihad and today so and help us to win semi-final so uh, we knew it from the beginning and I hope he grew up so in quite a fan of the Champions League he was the important player to help us to, to go again, to play against uh, Paris Saint-Germain okay, we have a question from Jim Conlon um, Hi Pip we saw the euphoria and the emotion, uh, emotion on your face on the sideline after Phil Foden's goal and that moment did you realise that you were true to the semi-finals and uh Obviously, Leon last year was that obviously the ghost of that put to bed. It was, of course, we knew it scoring two goals, they should score four. So, just 50 20 minutes left. So, if, if we continue in that moment to control what's closer, it's not over because the German teams, the quality they have at, at front, is always can happen. But uh, in the same time, in the same time, we were able to. To, <laughs> to control the game it was we knew it we spoke in Manchester guys we have to score goals to go through uh, Borussia and Dortmund in the last 27 or 28 games all the time scored goals every game so we knew it so that's why we need it but uh, we played for that and at the end we got it cheers thanks Beth. thank you we have a question from Arilas Sauda hi Beth congrats um, you are the only side in the Champions League that has faced Erling Haaland without conceding a goal um, can you tell us a bit more about the plan to, to reduce his influence uh, and uh, and how big a testament is that of the progress you've made as a defensive side this season well I would say this player is almost unstoppable uh, and the best way to defend this 
talent players is don't have, <laughs> don't have the ball. So they want the ball, they need the ball, it's try to don't have it. And for that, we have to play good with them, with the, with the ball. And that is what, and <coughs> try to l- let him live away, away, away from our box. And uh, and it's happened in both sides. But there's a player, like, it's not because he's fast. The quality in first control, the good he links with his mates, uh, strong in the air and uh, good finishing. So, uh, yeah, he's a top class player, top class. And will be will be stronger in the future. Uh, last question in English from Sam Lee. Hi Pep, you've talked a lot, obviously, about needing to score a goal. You know, even if it's two one, you lose. It's extra time needing to score a goal. But also, your team didn't push forward and leave spaces and and go crazy like you mentioned last week. And maybe that's been the problem in recent seasons. How did you find that balance between? Pushing for the goal, but not going too far. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I know when we, we select this kind of players, like today, is a players that had ability to lose the ball. So a team like Dortmund, they're waiting to run in the counter attack. If you lose balls in easy situations, always is more problem. So and uh, and yeah, we spoke many times. We have to try to make high pressing. We have to try to regain the ball as quick as possible, as far as possible. But sometimes not possible. In that moment, you defend medium block or deep, no stress, defend well, compact, and you know, it, it, you cannot expect, you know, the teams in Europe, they are not going to create chances or run. So, but important is the way the defense is because the possession that we have and the, through the passes, control, be organized. Because what, what he make the team balance is the ball. It's not the three incredible, huge holding midfielders of physicality. What makes the teams good balance, compact, is what we do with the ball. Mm-hmm. And extra passes helps everyone to be in the position. And when you lose the balls, always you are organized. And this is the process we have done since the day one we arrived here. But sometimes you need more time to 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 get it. But I had said, so now we are incredibly happy, but we cannot deny. So we are three times in the last five years out of the Champions League for goal difference. When that's happened, the margin is so minor. So that competition is like this. And when that's happened, it's not everything is a disaster. Like now today is not perfect and cannot be judged one season when we are in the Premier League every day, every day being there, being there, being judged is a disaster because you are not go through. Because in, in Champions League, get the last 16 is a big success. And go to finals is a huge success. And go to semifinals, no words to express that. So in Europe, they are in incredible teams. And be able to get that is to be satisfied. So is a team like we are already qualified for the Champions next season. It's the second time. Just the second time this club is in semi-final of the Champions League. Never reached the final. Second time. So we are not mature enough in this competition, but the players learn a lot in the last seasons. And we are making steps forward for the next years the club can say okay we can play semi-finals we were there once not a long time ago and maybe we can do it again and today break this bridge the quarterfinals semi-finals mentally for all the club it was a big relief and it's so important thank you do you have any questions please for any journalists in German or German questions if you if you do use the raise hand function now for which you Okay, I can't see any. Thank Thank you.